Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sandman. I hope that all of you are doing incredibly well. It is time for a long overdue, let's get this bread video. This is a long time coming. I have made baguettes on this series before, but I've not made this kind of baguette. It is an authentic French baguette. Um, I have made my rainbow baguette. I think I made another type, I, I might be wrong on that, but this is just a standard, but good authentic French baguette. I know it's been a while since I made a look. Get, let's get this bread, but let's get back into it. What you're gonna need, oh, it, the flour just exhaled everywhere. Okay, you're gonna need flour specifically, um, flour that has 12% or more protein. I don't know, um, that's what the recipe said. Um, you're gonna need yeast. You're gonna need room temperature water and you're going to need salt. I don't have my salt with me right now because I don't need it right now. As for materials, you're gonna need a bowl. You're gonna need another bowl uh, for measuring purposes. Um, you're, I assume you're gonna need a spoon um, to mix and I'm just, I have this. I'm not gonna need it. It doesn't matter what size. And then you have, a scale, a, a cooking scale. Isn't that exciting? I've never had one before. So now my recipes can be precise <laughs> instead of me just like converting grams to cups. So hopefully it'll be super <laughs> awesome. You're gonna need, I think plastic wrap, um, a baking pan. I'm gonna use um, a cookie sheet because it's the biggest thing that I have. You're gonna need an oven and you're going to need ice at some point as well. This recipe is scaring me um, just because it's gonna take very long. There are several waiting periods that are 12 hours or longer. So we have to turn on our little scale here. Okay. And then we have to put our little bowl on top of it and then zero it and make sure it's set to grams. I have a feeling in the future I'm going to fuck that up. Oh, most important thing you need, your cooking buddy. With me as always is Fraser. I've told you guys before, even if I forget to mention he is there, he is in every single one of my Let's Get This Bread videos because he doesn't leave my kitchen. I've never failed horribly with any of my Let's Get This Bread videos. I've always made something edible and it's never tasted bad. Sometimes it's just tasted not like super awesome, delicious, but like, Sometimes just been like, eh, oh, well, I, I can eat that, like that's edible. Um, but I want this one to be so good. So I don't want to stray from the recipe like literally at all. <laughs> You're going to need 150 grams of your strong bread flour as per the recipe states. So I don't know how much 150 grams is. Is that a lot? It's gonna be quite a lot, it looks like. I hope that my French heritage, like the blood in me, like takes over while I'm making this and just makes it so good. 150 even. Yes, okay. Okay, put that in the bowl. The next thing you need is 150 grams of room temperature water. So, oh fuck, it turned off again. God damn it, okay. I am I went to France last year, not to brag, but I went to France last year, and they had some of the best bread that has ever graced my taste buds. And I don't need this to be as good as that, but I want it to be at least similar in texture and flavor. I, I can't be going back and forth between countries. I can't afford that. Just, just for bread? For bread? I get it. But like, I, I can't afford it. It's 151 grams. It'll be fine. Okay. Me. I'm not gonna deviate even one gram from the recipe. Also me. It'll be fine. <laughs> so add that in. Okay. Three grams of yeast. That is nothing. Fuck. Two. Okay. It went straight to two and not one. Okay. Is that three? It went to three without me touching it. Okay. I'm gonna trust it. Fuck. It all stuck to the bowl because there's water in the bowl. Oh my god. It has to be fine. <laughs> and now you stir. <laughs> This is the easy part, is the first step. Dude, this already looks like infinitely better than anything I've ever made, probably because I'm using a scale and not converting the cups like a fucking like, scrub. Yeah, this is what that looks like, if you can see. 
So the next step is to leave this for, um, it, it depends. Um, you could either leave it for 12 hours um, at room temperature, or you could put it in the fridge for 24 hours. I'm not doing that. I, I wanna make this. So like, um, I'm just gonna cover it with my plastic wrap and then I'm gonna let it sit for 12 hours. It is 11 hours, I lied. It is 12 hours later. Um, I don't want to do this. I've had an entire day in between starting this recipe and continuing it right now. Um, I am convinced all my friends hate me. I want to go to sleep. Um, I burned my hand earlier. It's August, which is my least favorite month of the year for reasons I'm not getting into in this video. Um, uh, but we press on. So the first thing is to add our pre-mix. It says to add 303 grams of it, but that's the, like the 150 of the flour, 150 of the water, and the three of the yeast all combined. So I imagine that the grammage has not changed since it's risen. I'm also not going to risk it because I'm afraid that if I do that, it's not going to add up to the correct amount if I, if like some sticks to the bowl and I can't get it out. So we're just pouring it in um, and asking for the grace of God to find our way through this dark night. The baking is fun. Oh, <laughs> looks a little weird. <laughs> so the next ingredient is 220 grams of water. So I gotta try on my, my little scale. At room temperature, 220, thank fucking Christ, this stuff is so sensitive, okay. And I'm actually gonna dry this because the next thing that we're going to add is salt and I don't want that to stick to the bowl. I learned that lesson the first time. We want 13 grams of salt, um, so I don't have any crushed salt, like pre-crushed salt, so I'm gonna use this Himalayan pink salt and we're gonna right into the bowl. What? 13. Okay. So I've had too long of a day for the good lord to be playing me this cruelly. So um, this apparently is not even one gram of salt, which I don't fucking buy. And now my crank has stalled. So please. <laughs> Oh my god, no, this is the worst day of my fucking life! <laughs> okay, so I'm hopefully gonna make some progress. I dumped it out, and if I dump it back in... That's what I fucking thought. That's five grams. Okay, um, and then I found pretty much crushed up salt. I mean, there's some lumps, but we can deal. Thirteen. Skipped right to thirteen. Okay, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Did you hear the way my words fucking slurred when I said that? That's a lot of salt. I feel like I say that about one ingredient every bread video, so I think this is not unfounded. Okay. We're done with that Hellfest. Okay. Um, now <laughs> we're to the yeast again, and that is four grams. It was doing it before. This is, this is ridiculous. It skipped from zero to four. This is fake. Okay. 380 grams of flour. Okay, well, eat my entire life. And because I'm tired, I'm like really extra afraid that I'm just gonna, um, just, just do like a stupid mistake, you know? I'm hoping that won't happen. Okay, 380, Jesus. Okay, this is grams. Okay, I just had a heart attack because I thought I was on the wrong unit of measurement. We're, we're fine. And start mixing. I will give it this, that the, I will give it this though, is that um, this is the easiest mixing job I've ever had to do with bread dough. Um, it's like both for the, there's a word for it, the, but like the pre-mix they started earlier today and this has been like pretty like tame compared to some of the other ones that I've had to make. My cat's not allowed up here. Hey, mister. Oh, I know. Did you hear him protest? He's like, no. 
I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then once this all combines and is one dough, it, you have to leave it for another 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to be awake this long. So, let's do it. See you in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. I really want to die, um, but we're going to keep going. So you're going to uncover it and it says that you don't need to use bench flour. Um, given the circumstances of it being gross, I, I probably will. Not gross, but like sticky. You ever like reached to a point in a day and you've had so much caffeine and like you're like you're, you could feel your heart failing you? That's where I'm at. I'm not gonna go insane with it, just doing my best. And knead it for two minutes and said that the goal is to just make sure all the um, ingredients are well integrated into each other. Please leave the bowl. Please leave the bowl. Come on. All right. Could have been worse. Okay. I don't know why they said you don't need flour for the bench. You you definitely you most definitely do. Never guess what the next step is. You put it back in the bowl, and then you cover it for twelve more hours. Um, it says twelve to eighteen. Uh, what is different about this time is that it does not give you an option. It says to put it directly into the fridge. Um, we'll cover it, of course, but um, it does say put it in the fridge. The, um, the first time it said that you had the option, um, now it's saying put it in the fridge. So that's what I'm gonna do. It is 14 hours later and I'm gonna say I really wasn't expecting the dough to rise as much as it did in the fridge, um, but it like got really big. That's what it looks like. Ta-da! It's massive. It was not that big yesterday. I have to pour it out right onto the table. Come on, come on, brother, come on. We have to cut it into four equal parts. I don't have like a fancy, like, you know, like those bread dough cutters that have like the handle and then it's just a square blade. I don't have one of those, so I'm just using a knife. But are they four equal pieces? No, but they're comparable. So I think that's workable. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna measure them. I don't think that's really necessary. And it says to roll them into balls. So then we have to leave them for 20 minutes covered. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna wash everything. I'm a very big proponent of washing as you go. Um, so that's how I'm gonna spend my 20 minutes doing. So the 10 minutes is up. I got some flour. It said to flour the area or the surface that you're working on. And then we're gonna get the balls. Okay, it said to roll them into a sausage shape. I don't know why it's so hard to say. So that's what I'm going to do. And it said don't degas them. So I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that it means um, be very gentle. So then the next step is to leave them on the workboard or workbench or whatever covered for 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to use plastic wrap because it said to use like a cloth, like a baking cloth. I don't have one of those, so maybe that's my next investment for the next bread. But um, so that's what we're going to do. 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and now what they want you to do is to roll them back into the shape. I mean, you know, they're still that shape. And then you want to lengthen them. So kind of roll them like from the center and move out. So and But like don't press too hard because you don't want to degas them. Um, so I'm going to get some more flour for the surface. So I'm also going to prepare the pan that I'm going to put them on. I think I'm going to bake them two at a time just because there's not enough room in my oven. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put some parchment paper on the pan right now. Time to roll. And French baguettes, if you've ever seen them, they're pinched at the end. Oh no. I'm going to transfer this guy over to the pan. Just to let you see a little bit better how I'm doing it, there was a video in the recipe that showed you how to do it. So pin so the way you make the sausage shape is like pinching it and like bringing it over. And I've done that a few times. And then to roll it, you just like go from the center out and then like pinch the edges. Then you wanna cover them um, and leave them for 45 minutes and then 
we'll get to our next step. A lot of this recipe is just waiting, which I'm fine with. Now I have to preheat my oven to 485. Time is up. It's time to remove the coverings. This is how they look. First, I have to sprinkle some, some flour on them. And then I'm going to cut them like so. Uh, kind of like do it like diagonal. And then once I've done that, I'm going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes. When I put them in for the first 10 minutes, I'm going to put some ice in the bottom of the oven. I've done this before on my channel. And then after 10 minutes, I'm going to open the oven to let the steam out and they can finish uh, baking. Gotta let her breathe. Oh, I thought steam was going to come flying out. It's fine. It, oh, fuck. Dude, this is what it looks like. It looks amazing. Don't look at my stove. I've been using it a lot. Oh, my God. That looks awesome. These look so good. Oh, my gosh. I have to wait for them to cool and then I'm going to try them. But oh, my gosh. I think I did it. Did an okay job. I'm just gonna cut it without like showing you guys, but do you hear that? You know in Ratatouille when they said you know uh, how you can tell uh, the quality of a bread is by the sound? Fuck. That's so good. That's moment of truth. I'm gonna cry. I'm it's not cry. as like absolutely perfectly exquisite, but it's pretty much the same thing as what I had when I was in France. Oh my fucking god. It's so fucking good. This was the best recipe I've made on Let's Get This Bread. This is the best one. You know what I think? Was, oh my god. It's delicious. The flavor. Oh my god. There's no flavor. It's French. It's bread. I think what made it a, such a success was the fact that I had a scale and I wasn't converting everything to cups. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I hope Julie likes it. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, or comment. Um, I have a whole uh, series of this, me making bread. It's It's been a while. Um, it's, a, it's a damn, it, it's a success. It, it's, dude, triumphant comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. And finally, a huge fucking win for let's get this bread. Oh my, I mean, all the, all the others were fine. Don't get me wrong. There was nothing like is crazy wrong with them. But this one was so good. Fuck yes. Okay, I did it. I will leave all my social media links in the description below. Subscribe for more videos. Tell me what bread you want me you want to absolutely like knock out of the park the next time. I will see you in my next video. Bye.